That's kind of a cool wrap. The Donzi ZF, the alley cat. What's up, everybody, and welcome back. I apologize right now for uh, my voice that might crack or go away on us here because uh, I've been sick for like a week. That's why I haven't been filming or anything. But I've still been working. We've got some projects here in the yard. We're actually going to stay in the yard today. I'll show you a 59 Sea Ray. It's a pretty cool boat, and we got an Aquila to work on. And we'll walk through. We'll take a look at some other stuff here. So let's just get started. Well, first, let's get off this dock here. We got to mosey our way all the way over to the very other end there where the 59's parked. I guess we can look at some boats on the way. Blackjack. This is a pretty cool boat. I've actually only seen a few of these. It's all covered up, but it's a cool color. Looks like a cool bay boat. You know, classic contender over here. Nice. There's an Aquila. I'm not sure what's under the cover here, but it's got some Mercs on her. All right, well, I'm just going to cut past all of our boats here because we got one dock there. And we can almost see our big giant Sea Ray over here. Well, she's right over here, but take a look at this one. They're dropping in the water. It's a 420 Outrage. Can't see it, but it's got three 600s on it. They're about to unload it here. Sweet. We got an older Sundance here. So basically, these are the new style Sea Rays. This one, the one in front of it there. Let's see if I zoom in. So this is all their new stuff. I think they only make up to like a 40 now. A little Boston Whaler next to it. I'm still learning all these boats because there's so many here. And we work on everything, so it's, it's hard to keep up with. But this is a 59. They made a 63. I think that was the biggest they ever made. But the 59... Actually, it's a pretty cool boat. I'll show you. We'll get inside there and take a look around. I did a couple things to it. I'll show you. But in comparison, we got a 44 right here. Look at the size difference. That thing's a beast compared to it. The cool thing about this one is the flybridge version of it, which you can get it with or without, but it makes for a cool view. We'll walk up there. Let's jump on the back here. Of course, you're going to have a dinghy on the back here. We got some seating area, table, entertainment. It's actually pretty cool because you can cover all this, of course. And your little stairwell up. Let's jump on. We'll climb up top here. You can check the view out. Oh, you got this right here too, which I thought was cool. So you can dock it, make it easier. You're right here. Make it easy to park. Let's climb. And this thing closes off here too, so you got. You're not going to fall down the stairs underway. You don't want that to happen. You can open and close this. We have more seating. Table slash seating pad. It's got the uh, shade that automatically opens up for the back here. Entertainment area. Of course, you got sink. Cook up here. So it's basically got everything that you want on the very top. More cushions to lay out on. You drive right here. You got all your electronics, switching, all that stuff's here. Another table, but look at the view. It's definitely nice up here. She's tall. You can see everything. So it would make it easy to drive seeing, you know, being you're this high up. Yeah, so there's the new style Sea Rays, like I was saying. That's all they make now. And see, I was standing, if you remember the beginning of the video, that's where they're fishing. I was standing on that very back dock. We walked along the seawall all the way over here. Anyway, let's go downstairs, check out a few things. I just want to double check my work, make sure we got no leaks in the bilge. I replaced some bilge pumps here on the floor. But we'll check the boat out first. Basically, let's go in the front. But she's big. I mean, look, I'm walking through here. It's a big boat. Basically, you got a living room, dining room. I mean, you got every room like a house would have in it. The bedroom's down here. Might be dark. I brought a flashlight so I don't have to power the boat up. Yeah. We have master, of course. And basically, just mirrored on both sides. Got nice wood in the background there. This right here is our panel for all of our. Uh, 12 volt shore power stuff. 
We have second bedroom, two little beds, same wood pattern in the back, more storage everywhere. And right here is our master, which has got a bowl sink, so it wins awards for me. Nice shower. I mean, this is a nice setup. It's all well built. Sea Ray built a good boat back in the day when they built these big ones for sure. And what we have here another bathroom, bowl sink, same setup, nice tile work for the second bedroom down here. And we go down here, and she's big. It almost has two masters if you think about it, because this one is giant. You got the seating. This is actually bigger than the front of the boat. And it's tall. I mean, look at my hands up here. Definitely tall. I can stand no problem. So they made a lot of room here for this. She is a big girl. And it's got that same cool wood. Classic design. I like it. Alright, let's get out of here. We'll go back up here real quick. I'll look around there. And then we'll look downstairs. What I, show you what I did. So you got your electronics, obviously, everything up here, all the stuff you need to drive. A little window here, it's cool because it opens up, you got fresh air there if you want. And all the blinds you can open up here. But she is cool, lots of seating, and that's what they're fixing right now, the canvas there, the cushions. Now let me open this up, it takes two hands, She's it's a big hatch. Let's go down the hole, we even got a ladder, this is such a big hole down here. This thing has triple diesels in it yeah, we got three of them here three workhorses another Cummins I'm not sure what uh, size they are I guess it might be the 6.7s or whatever the turbo diesel straight six good stuff still running good you know, we got lots of batteries here's our uh, DC panel what I did was right in the hole underneath us here all the bilge pumps failed on this thing so, and it's all 24 volts. This 24 volt pump there, float, the pump here. You got a new pump in the sump here. Let me pull this cover off. Yeah, you got a new pump down here. I'm just gonna double check, I'll activate everything. We can pump this water out, let's check it. Still working good. So yeah, you got twin pumps here. You got one there. That sump is not for the bilge. And then you got one, you can't really see it. There's a hose too right there. So I replaced that one, which is that float. So you got twins right here in the bilge. And then there in front of that one, there's a transducer. There's also a high water one up there. But hard to see everything because it's all buried underneath all these uh, covers, these hatch covers they put on everything. But you got a generator. Big Onan, more Cummins stuff. So you got four Cummins engines in this thing. And these things also have, what's pretty cool, is the water maker system. Basically, it takes the salt out of the water and makes fresh water for you. Pretty cool. But yeah, this thing's loaded up with everything. You got air conditioning pumps. I mean, there's tons of batteries. There's 8D batteries. You got lots of chargers everywhere. She is a big girl. It's too bad they don't make stuff like this anymore. And the 40 footer I think is the biggest they make well everything still looks good here I just want to show you guys this boat because I don't get to see these very often these big sea rays is pretty cool so I'm sure we'll run across some more of them but 59 is one of the biggest and uh, I think it's pretty well set up it's definitely a big giant cruiser yacht so let's get out of the hole and we're gonna run to uh, Felix real quick I gotta clean him out before we run to the Aquila so I got something to show you in the back of the van anyways it's a uh, it's a good one so I'll meet you there Make our way over to Felix here. Just want to show you this battery that I replaced in a boat. It kind of scared me. I want to make sure it wasn't going to blow up on me, but I don't think I've ever seen one this bad before. Check it out. Look at that. She is melted out. It looked like it was going to explode. I kicked it a few times, making sure, and I checked voltage. It's completely dead. But that's a good one. Never even heard of that brand. Full River. 
Now you can tell I've been sick. Look, I've just been throwing all my crap in here and uh, clean it out. Let me do that. And then uh, we're going to venture our way along the docks here, all the way to the front of the building to uh, look at an Aquila. So I'll meet you over there. You know, we're all the way up front here. Second slip here in the front, the 44 Aquila. We got our uh, box of tools here, some things we need, and it's got to fix a couple ceiling spots, I guess. I haven't looked at it yet, but we'll find out, so let's jump on. Let's open her up here. So I just looked at one of these boats, one of my last videos, so if you want to see a walkthrough of this same 44, brand new one, let me uh, go back in time on my channel. But... We have bathrooms on each side here, and apparently the ceiling on the bathrooms is sagging or something. So let's run down and take a look first. It's the starboard side of the boat here. Let's see. So there's panels. You can see panels here. Oh, I can see right here. Okay. They gave me some screws and some white covers. Let's see if we can push up on this. So we're going to want to put a screw in the corner of each one of these panels. I'm sure it's just a quick release so that you can uh, access what you need to because there's a light here. So this whole panel probably comes down to access stuff underneath it. Or above it, I mean. So yeah, let's look at the other side. A little darker in here. Can't see very well, but it's going to be the same thing. See, they're moving. I'm not sure about the front bathroom, but let's go take a look. So there's three in this boat. On the port side here, master bedroom. Now this is built differently. There's no panels here. This is all one piece. All right, so just the two bathrooms. We'll put a screw in the corner with some white covers. That's what they gave me. Basically, where I put them, I lost them. Oh, they're right here. So we got some screws and these little white covers here. I'll put some silicone and tack them up there. Cover the screw holes, you won't even notice. Let's get our drill bit and our drill. Well, this is kind of uh, repetitive, so let me zip these in. It's basically just drilling in real quick, making sure that we don't crack any fiberglass or any of those panels, and uh, putting the screws with the covers of silicone. So. So I'll show you the end result here. We'll just cut to that. Well, that was pretty quick. We got the uh, starboard side done here. You can see the little white cap. Can't even barely notice it when you look at everything here. You got one there and there. Now I just got to do the port side here. So I'm going to finish what I was doing on this boat here. And I'm actually going to call it a day on the video here because I'm going to lose my voice. And uh, it's not going to be any fun if uh, I'm walking around without me talking about what I'm doing. So... As always, I appreciate everybody watching, and I will see you next time. Later. Well, hi guys. What are you doing? No need to be alarmed. You stay right there. Oh, we're good. No, oh no.